Hi, welcome. This is Cecilia Gutierrez, and this program is presented by the Rotary Club in Asenin. Our organization is really happy to present this uh, program about nutrition factors. Hi, Jenny. Hi, oh, welcome Cecilia. Welcome to the program. This is going to be a really great program, and I think to talk about nutrition factors will be really great because it's um, you know part of everybody's life. Mm -hmm. So. Um, why you don't just tell us a little bit about your career and who you okay. are? Okay, well thank you for so much for having me. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'm a nutritionist, I'm a registered dietitian, and I live in Ossining, and I work in Ossining. And, um, oh God, I, one of the reasons that I love it so much is that it's such an interesting field. There's so much science, there's so much, um, so many new things all the time, and yet you get to help people. Um, I started by, you know, going to college in a, in a degree in nutrition and a master's, and then I had to do a um, supervision in an internship and became a registered dietitian. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities, um, and I've worked with helping people, and I've also used the degree for other things too. Um, what is nutrition? What is that important part Nutrition of is really everything that you need to eat for growth and energy. And we get it from our environment, we get it from food and water, uh, we get protein in food, in, from food, we get carbohydrates for energy and fats, and our bodies also need vitamins and minerals, and they're discovering all kinds of new things that we need also, like phytonutrients and fiber, and um, so, and everything. Every, every living thing needs nutrition. So I'm gonna t show you my little, uh, plant? my little oregano plant. Mm. My oregano plant needs nutrition, and um, mm, smells so which good. you can cook with mm -hmm. oregano. Um, and he, she gets nutrition from water and the minerals in the soil. Mm -hmm. So everything, everything needs nutrition. Um, so um, why people are so concerned and not concerned about food. What do you think is the main purpose of eat? Okay. I think people have gotten confused about what nutrition is. They've gotten confused about what's, what's good for you. Um, people have become uh, much more, we don't live on farms anymore. We don't raise the animals, most people not nascening anyway. Um, we don't, maybe we have gardens. And so, um, you know, we hear a lot of things in the media about what's good to eat and what's not good to eat. So we're kind of going back to basic, basics now with learning how to cook, learning where food comes from, and um, learning how to eat better. Mm -hmm. When you say eat better, is to eat a lot or is to eat uh, in moderation, I mean, because we have a great concept of that nu nutrition is mm -hmm. just to really eat, um, but um, people don't specifically know what right. is good and what is not, because right. we can eat a lot, a lot of vegetables and a lot right. of fruits, right. and and probably um, it would be better life if we just do that, or of course we need the protein too, so what do right. you think? We need, a, we need to eat um, in moderation, we need to eat according to how we're hungry, we need to eat a variety, and we need to eat a, a balance of things. So, um, so certainly we want to eat more fruits and vegetables, um, a lot of people are eating fewer and fewer of those. We need healthy protein, lean meat and fish and chicken, um, and uh, grains, whole grains in particular, and a lot of water. Well, many mm -hmm. people don't, we need to be hydrated, mm -hmm. and many people don't eat a lot, d drink enough water. Um, most of us, you know, have a children on, and some of them are really, of course, grown up in my case, mm -hmm. but I think um, it is very important to aware them. Mm -hmm. Um, the importance of good nutrition. So right. what do you think about that and why it's important just since they are, you know, child to just make sure that they really know what right. is the importance of right. good nutrition. Right. Practice. Well, I think when they're little, they don't necessarily think about it as nutrition. They mm -hmm. think about it as food, what they're eating right. at home. And they, they see the example of the family. They see the example of cooking, hopefully. Mm -hmm. They see the example of eating together. Um, they learn about traditional foods, they learn about new foods. Um, so, and your eating habits are formed when you're young. 
um, and they get carried on when you know when you're older. So it's really important to start the eating habits, good eating habits, when you're younger. Um, you said then it would be carry on until you are an adult. So uh, the bases are very, very important. Very important. And it carries a lot of consequences in many ways. Yes. Which one are the consequences okay. that you think? Okay, well, you know, the obvious one is if you, if you don't eat in a healthy way or eat too, too much food and there's um, um, o overweight or obesity, that can lead to chronic diseases later in life because it's all very cumulative. It can lead to um, an increased risk of heart disease, an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, um, hypertension. There's many, even cancer, there's many diseases. So we need to take, we need to learn young to how to eat and how to take care of ourselves. So what happens if so we eat a lot and then we just play a lot? Like well, <laughs> it's a balance. It's a balance. So exercise is the other part and having, um, oh, having, you know, uh, having outdoor exercise. Exercise is not being in front of that TV or the computer or the video games um, it too much is really important. So, and when you're young, you can, your body can adapt pretty well and adjust pretty well, even if you overeat. But mm -hmm. then as you get older, it gets harder and harder. It gets harder and hard, much so harder. So, the first years of life, in it, the, the brain to develop in a lot of fat, I hear, yes. and it's very important. Actually, it's okay, then the children get a little bit pumped. Yep. <laughs> yes, they need, they the brain is mostly fat, and so you yeah. need to eat healthy fats. And okay. But what happened after that? I mean, that's when we, we, we should be aware of what we put on the table for the children, and that right. is very important. Well, I was just thinking right now, then as we talk, then a lot of the children um, really get overweight at probably age nine to mm -hmm. and then um, puberty. 18. Yes, exactly. So, and it is very hard to lose weight if you just sit in there and watch television right. and don't do any exercise. Right. So, what do you think? What is the well? The greatest decision? thing is that when first of all, you don't want to stigmatize. Mm -hmm. You know, make somebody feel badly. Absolutely. At all. Um, but what a gift that if you eat healthfully and um, you're continuing to grow, you're going to, you are going to naturally thin out. And that's a, you know, all they have to do is eat healthfully and exercise and it will come. It will happen. Um, and focusing more on plant foods, mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables is very, very important. And um, making some small changes like not drinking the sodas or the sugary juices and shifting oh, oh I have something for you yeah, to show you <laughs> that's nice so this is just a very simple thing so it's a 12 ounce can of soda but look how much sugar there's like I'm going to just oh you want to okay look how much sugar this is like almost not this is almost 10 teaspoons of sugar that and is hidden that soda. in a 12 ounce can. So, mm -hmm. I mean, this is, it would be like a Coca Cola or a mm -hmm. Pepsi or anything like that. So, there's a lot of, a lot of hidden sugar, and sugar is really nothing but empty calories. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's important to learn what's in foods. It's important for the family to have, to have other alternatives like water at home. Um, and that's a very simple, it's that's a very, very simple change to make mm -hmm. that parents can start introducing. and. But let's talk about calories now. Then you said that in that okay. so there is a um, lot of calories. Calories are very important for the mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. uh, in many ways. So, right. which calories will be just we consume to just all the children okay. in order to just make sure that they have enough to just burn in with right. good energy? Right. So, well, an easy. I'm going to show you another visualization because yeah. I think this is an easy one okay. too. So, you know, a lot of times this is a this is a, a my plate. And by yeah. dividing the plate into four parts, mm -hmm. and you just kind of one half, you have fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and one quarter you have whole grains, and one quarter you have healthy proteins. It's very easy. It's very um, that looked like a rumble. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very. It's a very easy visual. It's a ha it's a nice habit to get into, mm -hmm. um, and it's important to not. Um, it's important to to stay in that balance and to focus on those things, but. You know, foods, when you talk about protein, protein, chicken, fish, beef, that's really very important. It's important not to have 
so much of the processed beef, so much of the hamburger, um, the hamburger, so much of the hot dogs or deli meats. Those are not as healthy as just having, let's just say, a plain hamburger or a piece of meat or a piece of fish. But once in a while, I really good. Once in a while, <laughs> especially going to a ball game. Yes. Right. <laughs> or oh, when we just get together with the family. That's just right. I think it's really That's nice right. because bringing um, all the family together mm -hmm. and have parties and things like that, having I think it's just really once in a while. <laughs> it's important, yes. I mean, Food yeah. is to be fun, it's to be exactly. social, exactly. it's to enjoy it, mm -hmm. it's to uh, share it with your family. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's, you know, we many of us have relatives who make a favorite cake and we love to enjoy it and we should once in a while and a, and a piece. And I think it because the food is, is a good um, way to just bring in the families together. Mm -hmm. So I think because the family wants to be together, so I think they can just go to play basketball. Or That's play right. Or That's play right. Or and just you know, do activities. Right. They can just make up with the, you know, we can eat food, but we can right. just probably make sure that the important thing or do exercise, right? Right. And also, you know, what happens when you're, what happens when you're uh, playing ball together? You're kidding around, you're talking, you're, you know, you're, you're really ha sharing an experience together, mm -hmm. and that's really important. And just like it is with with having a meal together, right? I just I have to mention this because I came from Colombia. It's okay. a South America country, and I think what we we do we um, we eat and good vegetables and right. many things. I mean, we eat a lot of fruits, and because it's a country, it's a tropical country. Mm. But we we the, the families get together and we play different games. We have so much fun, but not just only you know we go to the parks, we go mm -hmm. to the other villages and just play and it's just very good and we use a lot of the transportation ways, uh, bicycles, and mm -hmm. so that's really good. But I think um, we forgot when we came to this country to do that. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of limitations in mm -hmm. many ways. So mm -hmm. what do you think? Well, I think it, it sounds like it has to be more of a conscious effort here. You know, it doesn't mean that maybe it's not quite so natural, maybe where people are staying kind of homebound a little bit more and not mm -hmm. getting out as much. I mean, also we have a, it's not the weather, especially in the winter. Exactly. People, you know, don't, you, you see, as soon as it starts to get, it starts, as soon as it starts to get warm out, people just get out and they're walking and mm -hmm. they're, you know, so the winter is a little bit more of a challenge too. Exactly. But, but Austin has a lot of parks yes. and a lot of places to play soccer or volleyball or basketball or. And in winter, you can just go cross country. I mean, well, you can just <laughs> <laughs> slide in the, with the, right. in the ice. Or, you know, right. just, just right. have fun with the children as right. well. Right. But the most important thing is to start early, right? Very because important. if you don't start early, the children doesn't get the habit to just do outside. Mm -hmm. um, even to walk in the snow is just such yes. a cool thing for me. I don't yeah, know. Build a snowman. A, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think there is always activities to do. Mm -hmm. um, with the children. I so, think you're right. But it's very good to just... Starting sure. early. Right. Starting early. Everybody's busy. Parents are busy. I know. But taking, you know, taking some time to, to make it a, a point to start incorporating all that and um, and then kids will enjoy it and they'll want to do it. And then when they grow up, they'll want to do it with their kids. Exactly. Yeah. So. We were just talking earlier um, about the consequences of no to mm -hmm. um, do activities and to right. eat he not healthy. Um, we as a parents, we have to take the consequences of what the problems mm -hmm. of the children carry mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that circumstances of what can you mention to me? Uh, well, we know that obesity in, in um, adults and children mm -hmm. is increasing at a dramatic rate. Right. And um, even in the last 10 years, obesity has doubled. Right. And when you have obesity, which is an excess of body fat, mm -hmm. um, it causes inflammation in the body, and then that inflammation then can be uh, put somebody at risk for things like diabetes and heart disease and high blood pressure. And once you get those problems, then it's much, you know, it, it's much easier to, to prevent than right. to actually deal with um, a disease. But also health mental like problem also for you know girls and for boys girls. body and image this yes exactly yes. it's a real challenge it's a real challenge because you can even be a you know lovely young teenage girl 
who is perfectly healthy, who mm -hmm. does not have a weight issue, but the um, the media, the culture, the movie stars, exactly. the rock stars, they are very, very thin, mm -hmm. very too thin. Some of them are too thin. Absolutely. And so it's almost, it, it, that puts an extra challenge on it. But, um, you know, girl, it's, girls are become very self-conscious. Even boys become very self-conscious right. and they can feel bad about themselves. Um, but it's because the other ones make it fun of them and too. And I think it they just, make fun yeah. Of them. So and we're all built differently. Right. We're all, you know, some people are just naturally bigger, bigger boned. Exactly. Um, and so we need to, one, another thing that's important is to, to appreciate yourself, to love yourself, to exactly. take care of yourself, mm -hmm. to know that you're special. Um, and one of the ways that you can t be special take, is to take care of yourself through your food um, and your health and your exercise. And I think the parents, uh, the mother, I know that is the one who most are involved in the kitchen because mm -hmm. usually the, part, uh, the the father is just working all the time. So okay. I think the mother should include more in the activities of the kitchen, in the kitchen yes. for the children. You know, I, I think so. I mean, I wish that my mother did. Mm -hmm. I love to cook. Oh, I yes. love to cook. and. Um, I think it can be fun. There's always some different, no matter how old the child is, there's things that don't involve chopping. There's mm -hmm. things that just maybe stirring a pot, exactly. peeling a vegetable, um, being part of it, setting the table, seeing how everybody really appreciates it, even smelling the, smelling the cooking in the kitchen. Right. Um, it's enjoyment. And there is a lot of creativity on the, the children as well. And then you can invite them for just go shopping and right. see selected the good things. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they are they respond if you really right. you know teach right. them. If they're involved in maybe yeah. picking out some of the food at the supermarket, some of the vegetables, some of the fruits, you know. Right. And then learning how to combine different things when you cook. It's mm -hmm. you know, we think of it as being um, complicated mm -hmm. cooking is complicated but it's but really it's not. really not and it's it's an art it's fun and it's, it's fun. a lot of fun you really can't make a mistake if you start yeah. with good ingredients and i really think that it doesn't matter the mess in the kitchen you know the children sometimes just <laughs> but it is part of that the process it's and, part you know, of the and process it's just, they are such a, a lot of fun mm -hmm. i mean as you know i'm a, I'm a, chef, I I'm a chef for a very long time and i, I think i in include many of the children in the kitchen and it just really make a lot of fun and they mm -hmm. actually take it very serious what do they, they do so that is very important right. if we can start it since right. very early and there are some simple things like came across this recipe for example like to make a very simple yogurt that just right? we were just talking about I'm gonna, how it, great I have the I have the directions in Spanish and okay, in English. Okay, you can just so do I'm that gonna try to. It's I'm gonna try, even yes. though my accent's not very That's good. That's all right. So in English, it's a fruitalicious breakfast cup. Mm -hmm. So it's just start with a cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I need my glasses for yeah. this. Um, comienza, comienza con yogurt. Mm -hmm. Is that start with yogurt? Añade algo crocante, mm -hmm. is that right? Añade algo cro crocante. Cro crocante. Sí. Add some crunch, mm -hmm. so that might be something like some nuts or uh, whole grain cereal. And then you put in some el elige una fruta, some fruit, yeah, some blueberries, you can or apples. Or any fruit, yeah. And that's it. And it's a delicious, um, it's a delicious little thing. And uh, you can have it for breakfast. And sí. it's something that a kid can do. Suena delicioso, porque es el yogur, mm -hmm. um, Cereal, cereal, y la fruta, y la fruta, y se, sí. y es, se revuelve, mm -hmm. es mm -hmm. muy rico, yeah. mm -hmm. y es simple, it's more very simple, simple and it's very delicious, right. and, and you can just do that in one minute. In one minute, the one thing that you do need to do a little bit is plan, is think ahead. You need to have certain good ingredients in the house, right. so for example, Oh, you know, make sure you have the yogurt in the house. Make mm -hmm. sure you have some fruits in the in or vet fruit in the house. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and it's because it's simple. Remember, we were just talking about um, uh, Saturdays or Sundays when you have a little time. Yes. 
if there is any leftovers leftovers of the salad, mm -hmm. you told me that we can just make a soup or something like that. That Absolutely. would be really add a little potato or something. Yeah. And that would be really good chicken broth or something mm -hmm. that you have. And th there we go. You, you have the soup already right. there. And then if you still have leftovers, the next day you can add a different vegetable exactly. and make something new or yeah. add a few spices and make things. Sure so. that put yeah, I think it's just very nice. We love Platano, mm, which is plantain. I love platano. I like yuca. We love yuca. yuca and all those kind of things. We can add a little bit of mm -hmm. that. But I think, as you said, and planning is good because most of the time we are so busy. We're so busy, and yeah. sometimes it sometimes it does. You maybe you can only plan have time to think about it on a, on a weekend. Right. But that's okay. That's, yeah. You know, I like making leftovers. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And for the children who are grown up, you know, we can just you know give some time pizza or or mm -hmm. any other thing then it's just but once in a while not every day pizza or right but, but you know they the children need that calories anyway mm -hmm. but not that much i mean right um so fruits as you say and vegetables right are really i mean good. for snacks having those handy having them cut up you know ready to go people are rushing in the morning if they're mm -hmm. going off to work or to school but if you maybe prepare the night before right I would just always wonder if what is the um, difference between obesity and overweight you know it's just people get confused about that it's just yeah. the same you think no it's not the same it's it's basically a um, there's a continuum mm -hmm. you know so you know someone that is overweight is a few pounds heavier than is uh, is ideal for their body but when they become obese then it starts to become more of a health problem it's it's more mm. it's an excess so um, yeah so that's really what the difference is and also what is the that um, diet uh, thing for the children then like um, you know low fat things I don't think that okay. they sh we should just ever just no. I th use in any you know, we need good products are good right good products you want to have um, good sources, clean sources, less processed. Um, there are good fats. Yes, um, there like? Are, there are good fats like avocado, olive oil. Um, nuts. Nuts are very good fats mm -hmm. too. Um, and even, you know, even some of the fat in dairy is, right. you know, and in meat. You do need fat. Um, but, you know, eating a lot of fried potato chips That's and okay. snack foods like that, that's not healthy fat. That is saturated, saturated fat. Right. And which is not right. Good. Or yeah. a lot of pr processed crackers, just munching mm -hmm. on it. That's not so healthy. Mm -hmm. So. And um, I know that the children enjoy all these delicious things and this fry food, and um, but it does have to just well, once in a while it's good, but not once all the time. Once in a while it's good. It's about balancing it out mm -hmm. and making the changes are. You don't have to change everything at once. You can right. switch from, instead of having soda, have water. Instead of right. having white bread, have whole wheat bread. Right. Instead of having processed meat, have a regular piece of meat. And how about cake? How about <laughs> cake? Well, what you are we going to just replace the cake for? Because yeah. we eat a lot. I mean, the sugars are like a temptation right. all the time. But what do you right. think? Well, you can also, also some people, you know, work with recipes so that the they have a little less sugar, mm -hmm. um, or they make a zucchini bread, so they mm -hmm. incorporate some vegetables into it, or they take a little smaller portion, or right, you know, oh, portions. So but we don't talk about portions. portions. <laughs> well, you know, we're in such a hurry all the time that I we know. tend to eat so fast, and we because we eat very quickly, we tend to eat more. Right. We're not really oh, tuning into. It takes about twenty minutes from when you take your first bite to when you you can feel full. Really? So oh. most of us probably finish eating in, in five few, minutes. In five <laughs> minutes. So we don't really think. Right. So there's a whole movement now called mindful eating and intuitive eating where you really pay attention and mm. you also show gratitude. Exactly. You, you know, you think about where who grew the food, where it came from. Who transported it? Who cooked the it? The mother who cooked. The cook who cooked. And I think you should be hours and then. <laughs> and then you eat it in oh one minute. Oh gosh! And yes. I think also cleaning up. I mean, it's all, right. oh all part goodness. of it. Yeah. And the other yes. thing is that food is also part of our environment, and so we yes. want to take care of our environment, yes. our our water systems, our soil. Mm -hmm. You know, mm, this is whole. It's a cycle. Exactly. We're part of a cycle. And so if we treat ourselves well and we treat our environment well, 
everybody's going to be healthier. Well, food is the fuel of our body. Food is the fuel. And, and really, if you put a good food, it's a good fuel for your, yep. um, your yep. health. Yep. Um, it is very, very important what you mentioned. I think, um, how about the best way to avoid bad food? <laughs> that how it has to be changed. Um, but best. how to do it in a good way, especially for um, children. You know, it is very difficult because I, they really often I think that we need to not think of any one food as bad. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, there's a time and a place for everything. Right. And that if we have something that is, you know, maybe a little higher in sugar every once in a while, we shouldn't feel guilty about it. We shouldn't judge ourselves about it. Right. Um, but ha but in moderation and smaller portions and less often. Mm -hmm. um, and how about a solution for uh, people who have very severe, you know, um, concern about how fat they are or how heavy they are right. or how, and, and how to, to, to make sure that they understand that it is a process. It's right. not just in one right. week or two weeks. Right. I mean, it's a lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. I think also that we, a lot of, I think, our image is such a big part of our culture mm -hmm. that we need to remember that we're a lot more than just what we look like. Exactly. We have mm -hmm. talents, we have kindness, we have um, you know relationships with people. Mm -hmm. We have special all have special qualities and so I think that it's a it's a challenge in our culture to not put so much um, you know of a big importance on how we look. Right. Um, but I think I think it's important to to expand who we are and appreciate who we are. Mm -hmm. And to make it sure then, you know, to not get to any extreme level, right. you have to be very conscious of what you are mm -hmm. eating. And I think the right. whole family should be aware about mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. um, because it really the consequences, right, later right. on. Right, right. The consequences yeah. emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. they become, you know, they become, but I think that people and families need to remember that there are also resources in the community that can help them. You know, they learn, children learn in school, you're doing the program in the schools, there's nutritionists in the community, right. there's other healthcare professionals. So I think that, um, you know, I think that that's something that, that families, if they feel overwhelmed about, mm -hmm. can know that there are other resources. So you had mentioned community, that's so, so mm -hmm. good because I think sometimes we um, we just enclose ourselves mm -hmm. and don't do anything. I know that they play a lot of games, the children, right. and they do, they enjoy that because they sometimes that is not even time to control what the children do because right. we are working most right. of the We're time. Right. But that's why I think it's very important to just make sure that they learn Mm -hmm. since a very early age what I, to I do agree. activities it is i know you told me it's a little bit hard to mm -hmm. just because the different weather um the winter is just very winter hard. is yeah. hard but i think also um kids can feel good about how they can contribute to the family if they're helping to cook a meal yeah that would be right you know nice. they're helping to yeah. take care of their themselves and mm -hmm. their family um, and an older child might be able to, you know, go even do some food shopping. So I think that um, it's a we have a very um, child-centered culture mm -hmm. where we do a lot for our children, and I think it's good for them to contribute Return, some yeah. things to the family too. That's very nice. Well, why you don't suggest us um, a little bit of? Um, activities that they can do in in summer even in winter time what what would be not too um extreme but good for the family to do to what do. do you think that help to well i think one thing is um oh gee i think one thing is also making a really nice breakfast together mm -hmm. um and sitting around and telling you know stories and how your day was and what your week was like, but in terms of physical kinds of things you're talking about, mm -hmm. okay. Um, well, getting out and walking is walking. always is always good, no matter what shape you're in. I mean, right. it's a gentle activity. The uh, community center has a wonderful swimming pool right. that's open in the winter. Mm -hmm. 
um, if you're able to, uh, depending on where you live, if you're able to walk instead of getting in the car, right. you know, or... Um, but there's a lot of parks anyway. Huh? There's a lot of parks. Yes. There's a lot of parks. And but the cold weather. <laughs> the cold weather, I mean, we all want to feel like we want to hibernate. You yes. Know? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. So I just was thinking, um, why you choose this career? I mean, I think it is so interesting, as you say, scientific. Right. Um, I think it's getting more and more interesting even because, oh, I mean, first of all, I love to help people. I love the science. I, there is a lot of, um, I love food. Um, but there's also a lot of like biochemistry and really understanding. And there's a lot of things that have to do with um, helping people get better um, if they have a disease through nutrition. And it's, a, it's, it's very interesting. I like to do it and integrate it with what they're doing with their doctors mm -hmm. to get better. Um, I think it's very interesting. I think it's really interesting. I just would like to know what is, um, what do you think? What is your opinion about vegan? And uh, uh, what is your opinion? I about think the well. I mean, I think that there's more than one way to eat in a healthy way. So mm -hmm. vegan would be without the eggs, vegetarian, without the, mil without the milk, and just all vegetarian, no meat, no fish, no chicken. I think it's hard to eat a balanced diet as a vegan. Right. You can do it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like uh, somebody that's going to be, or like a vegetarian, if they're going to be a vegetarian, where they eat, where they do eat eggs and milk. Mm -hmm. But if you sit and eat spaghetti all day, that's not healthy. Absolutely. So you really, no matter what, no, ma no matter how you're eating, you really need to make sure you have a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of plant-based foods. Um, so that's a challenge for so many people who are um, thinking not to eat any protein, animal right. protein. It's right. Just, um, mm -hmm. It's very hard. I, mm -hmm. Well, I know a lot of my friends do yeah. that. And, uh, you know, some of them, they really see them from eating a piece of meat. And, right. Um, you don't have they, to eat meat. Right. But some people choose not to eat beef, but they eat chicken or they right. they pescatarians. Right. <laughs> they they have they just so everybody decides and you know we used to eat what we grew where we lived. So oh, if you true. lived near the ocean, you had fish. Right. If you lived inland, well, maybe you, you beef. know, you had beef, right? And now with the way our uh, world is so global and mm -hmm. the way we ship foods like if it's the winter time we get our fruits and vegetables from Chile or I guess Colombia South and America. all over South America um, we've lost that con that we've lost that natural cycle that natural connection mm -hmm. so um, but you know Eskimos up in Alaska Traditionally, they fish. ate they ate the fish. They didn't yes. eat fruits and vegetables, and they awesome. were able to be healthy. Right. So there's more than one way your body can adapt. Right. But for us living here, um, it is important to kind of to the fruits, the vegetables, the lean meat, and um, the whole grains. You know, it's a great. It's been a great program for I don't know maybe ten years. Um, the farm, the um, farmers are coming to the mm -hmm. every town. The farmers market. Yes, and I think it's a great, great deal of um, nutrition factors and everything that mm -hmm. they present in there. It's just really mm -hmm. good food. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, how fun is it to 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 meet the farmers and to you know pick out? I mean, it's very, it's much more. Um, it's very different than going to a supermarket. Oh, I mean, we're definitely. very lucky that we have food in a supermarket, but it's it's, a diff it's different. It's community. You get people mm -hmm. coming out. Um, and the community gardens, too, that you are able to. Gardens. Do you have your, your own? I don't. One year, I had a, um, I did have a vegetable garden. Really? Here and then I cooked everything. I and made everything from that garden. What a big difference, right? Yeah, it yeah. was fun. But it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, right. so we need. If we're not doing the work, we need to appreciate the people that are doing the work to grow the food. Well, I'm going to that direction because um, sometimes they think that it's a little bit more expensive, but it's just because it came in this such a great um, way. They don't. They don't put chemicals. They don't right. put anything. So 
we have to appreciate yes yeah, it's a little one dollar more of, right. but it is such a good good vegetables right. and, and you know eggs and right and it's meat, fresh so. and if you're not um, you know and if you're not eating a lot of junk yeah junk food um, then you're saving money that way if you're exactly. not if you're drinking water instead of well, soda right. yeah know, soda can be very very expensive can be very know? expensive yes and um, it's not good for your teeth either right. right and that was the other thing I wanted to tell you also I wanted to make sure I told you that eating good nutrition and healthy mm -hmm. food you will see it in your hair you will mm. see it in your you'll, you will see it in your teeth you will have strong right. bones you will you will look healthy and vigorous you will feel good about yourself you will have a good mood very good to mention that but can you imagine your your way it could be if you are 5 to your way could be but let's say 115 pounds right. and you carry 50 pounds more every day mm -hmm. that is going to be have a lot of impact in your legs on your and knees and legs yeah right it is just right. just a poor body and your feet right. are really getting and then tired. if you're doing sports right that impact exactly so yeah. that's why we have to just be concerned you know if you love yourself why you have to carry so you have much? to love yourself yeah, yeah. just yeah. lose a, a little bit you know that way and you don't have to just pull too much in, into your own, you know, right. that you have to carry. It's just really hard. I don't want to just uh, think then uh, to be super thin is just good. No. That it's no. not healthy. No. Uh, I know no. that it's not, but I think it's very important and you are aware that mm -hmm. to carry too much is just mm -hmm. to put in your poor legs. Right, your legs, feet. your back, your, yeah. Right. Right. Um, and, you know, so we were talking also about you know what you do now as a as a child or as a teenager impacts your future it also your health and how you take care of your body impacts the health of your if you have children oh that's in the future true. and so you're really setting the tone for a whole oh a whole generation you know, a whole generation yes really it's very important and um, so you take care of yourself um, but if that's a little hard for some people, think about the future too. I know. We, we unfortunately, unfortunately, we just think about a lot of how to get money every day mm -hmm. and how to just get this and that. Right. You know, um, well, people are stressed. Yes, because that, because we just looking for Fast. money and everything. We forgot about ourselves, you know, how, mm -hmm. so how to eat is slow, at least just one meal a day. And not that's right. You yes. can start with one meal a day. Right, to just try to just at least eat in peace one mm -hmm. meal a day. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. fair for your mm -hmm. your own being, you know. You know, just you can say we're going to do things differently now as a family. This yes. is what we're going to do. Exactly, I think it's really nice for mm -hmm. for your own health mm -hmm. and the family as well. Right, and teach you good uh, habits would be very good. Mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you so much for just oh. being in this program and if you want thank to, you. I mean, there is, is, is probably five or six more programs that we are going to do with children and cooking nice. with children, so they are going to be my sous chefs. So very I'm nice. I'm very excited How about How old are the kids? Well, we are going to start for elementary school mm -hmm. and then to um, for probably middle school and then um, high school. That's so great. that's going to be great. And that's then we are great. going to integrate also the parents. So if you want to come, oh, that would be really great. Parents. You can chop the onions. I can chop or the onions. <laughs> I have to chop, yeah. I want to show you my first cookbook. Yeah, um, that would just From when I was a little girl. Ah, uh -huh, nice. Oh, can you just show it to me? I love this book. I'm so telling you. So, so tell I me learned. about that book. Well, you know, I think I was probably about like in sixth grade. So mm -hmm. I think I was pretty much learning how to cook with my girlfriend, mm -hmm. not so much my parents. But you know, I learned how to chop a salad. We did deck. We made like little uh, fruit things with putting faces on them. We made we made some we made some cakes. Delicious. We made cookies That's with fine. faces on them, and That's it was nice. just really fun. It was really fun. That's true. So it's this this I will not get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> I think well can you read one recipe in that? Oh my god. Can I read Just one a recipe? Short one? Oh my god. Well okay, so applesauce. Okay. That's Perfect. a good one, right? Okay. Wash, peel, quarter and and core eight medium apples. 
Add water about a half inch deep in a pan. Mm -hmm. Cover tightly and bring down to a boil about five minutes. Turn down, heat, and simmer until tender. Now stir into taste a half a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I was making this today, maybe mm -hmm. I would put a quarter of a cup of Excellent. sugar and see if that would work. Mm -hmm. uh, reheat to boiling, sprinkle lightly with cinnamon or nutmeg, mm. and serve warm or cold. Delicious, with a little bit of uh, zucchini bread. How about that? With a little bit of zucchini bread. So that sounds very good. Simple, but you know. Yeah, that's very, very nice. nice. Well, congratulations. That's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Anyway. And, and, and the more, ex I mean, I'm very excited because I think what we're going to do is we are going with the recipes that we do with the children. We are going to make a little book and we are going to just give oh. to the children. So I think it's just going to be really nice. And then they can bring those home and show exactly. their parents. And yeah, I think yeah. it's just it's very exciting. So I just want to say thank you well, very, thank very you much. I think me. your knowledge are very well bring to the houses and to the families who really are interested to just learn learn mm -hmm. a lot more about what is nutrition and why it's important mm -hmm. to um, be aware about uh, yeah. and have ways. fun yeah that's and the most fun. important thing and it's just um it, that's what it's about you know to get together and just cook mm -hmm. and eat and mm -hmm. and smell and I mean it's just something in the brain of people when they cook I mean mm -hmm. that happened to me as a chef I mm -hmm. mean I the smell is the one who just mm -hmm. make you so relaxed and to just happy I don't know what it's about but it is well do you know that when you, when you start cooking right. your body's actually getting ready to digest Really, mm -hmm. so this it's a very it important is. part of healthy digestion. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's amazing what happened in the brain. So, it's it's good. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to you. Thank this you. is such a fun conversation. Okay. I appreciate thank that. You. That was very nice.